After three years of computer science, I can honestly say. So I am a senior in high school, and basically for the past three years, I've been taking computer science related classes, okay? And hopefully by the end of this video, you guys can understand what computer science is to a higher degree and know what it takes and the ins and outs of taking CS classes and basically embarking on a journey within the IT field. So heading into my freshman year, I did not know too much about computer science. I mean, I did know certain languages such as Java and C++, but I didn't really code my own application. I mean, I did go on a YouTube tutorial and made my own app, which I basically just copied the code and I made my own app. I just changed some of the skins from uh, balloons to pictures of Trump. And I put it on the app store and I got 2000 downloads, but it was not my own app, right? I did not know how to program. I just knew how to copy and paste code, which most junior developers now just heading into the field that's mainly what they do and that's mainly how they learn so in my freshman year i took a class called foundations of computer science where i learned html javascript and css so now my teacher he was kind of crazy so he would give us a quiz almost every week and the first quiz i failed and i was i was so heated i was like maybe computer science isn't right for me but then progressively i did get better and i did start learning the languages more programming isn't hard once you understand the very minute details of each programming language so freshman year that was what i was mainly learning i was learning how to make tables in html make some forms and just learn some basic functionality within javascript now sophomore year was really when we started programming because freshman year was our teacher would give us code you would implement the code change maybe two or three lines and then we would say bam our own project in sophomore year you can see right now sophomore year we actually learned more of how to create pages by yourself that you have a goal that accomplish things for example i have a h2 location surroundings which shows the hq of uh the center for habitat for humanity which is quite neat i just added a smiley face you know just because one of the coolest things for here is the rest apis where this page if i refresh it it basically has was ever on the National Geographic page at this time. So you can see right now the National Geo page, it, it has an article about uh, these mermaids things and this submarine pilot, which is really cool because because I'm pulling data from the API of National Geographic. So basically I'm pulling data from its website and putting it into my own page. So you can see right here, this is a code behind it where it's a bunch of jQuery right here and the script source, which is you know, I have JavaScript right here, and the actual HTML is quite simple. Most of it is just CSS and Bootstrap, but that's getting to a whole other things. I'm just trying to show you guys what I essentially did. My junior year of high school was very rough. To say the least, it was rough. I did a lot of work outside of school, in school, and like in school while I was not in my class. For example, I remember one of my friends, he would bring his laptop to English class and math class and be programming away because he knew that we had a huge assignment due at the end of the week. Like my teacher, he would give us an assignment almost every week or every other week after teaching us uh, about classes and constructors. He would give us an assignment that combined the information and we would have to accomplish. I remember my first application I had to make in Java was a farm application where there was like a bunch of constructors and um, objects such as a pig, a dog, and a goose and you had to talk you had to uh, write a program that um, it would make the sound like it would make the computer print the word of the sound each animal would make and it would keep track of how many animals are in the farm and it will keep track of um, how like if you take one animal out how many are left so basically I had to use lists and constructors and functions and data types and the whole nine yards of programming it was a great introductory assignment you taught me a lot about algorithmic thinking, which is when you have one big problem and you break into smaller problems and find a solution to, a, to those smaller problems to make a grand solution to the bigger problem, which is, sounds very complicated. And it was like, it, it was really hard. I remember one of my friends, he told me he was going to quit programming and he did. Now he's in marketing. It's scary. So I don't think I mentioned this earlier in the video. But the class I was taking my junior year was AP Computer Science. Now, a lot of you who are watching this video, you guys may have already taken the class, maybe taking the class. Now, you know, the class isn't, well, it's hard, but once you start getting to the flow of Java, once you pick up things, it becomes very, very easy. Like my first assignment, I may have failed. 
but progressively I did start getting better. I started picking up the Java more. I started understanding data types and functions and how they coincide. I learned about um, what's that called signatures and functions that basically have the same the same name, but they have different amount of parameters, so they do different things. And that's the like junior year was a year I really learned how to program efficiently and how to program well because. Java is one of the mainstream languages, okay? It's used by Google, it's used by Microsoft, it's used by Apple. It's used by really any major application you may see on the internet. Like behind the HTML and JavaScript that I learned ninth and 10th grade, there's Java, there's Python, which is all the backend stuff that's doing all the work, that's um, getting the, the post to the URL, that's uh, establishing a connection between the client and the server, and yeah. So what you have to know about CS if you are taking in high school is freshman year you just have to push through okay freshman year is hard the sophomore year it gets easier and the junior year you got to push through again because if you don't develop that algorithmic thinking that I was talking about earlier in the video you may struggle now the most important thing that I can take away from my junior year in high school is the fact that I was able to pick up a lot of knowledge and now I can make applications on my own I don't need anyone's help I can make a front end and a back end and a full working website. So I can honestly say, to become successful in computer science, you have to make sure you're able to push through. And you know how they say never give up? Yeah, that holds through. Because I cannot tell you how many hours I spent on one piece of code. Maybe like 15 to 20 lines of code trying to identify the problem that I have within the code that's making my program crash. Like for example, I spent I think in two hours on one of my applications I was writing for my uh, AP computer science class. I could not find the problem that I had within the program. I was like, why is it not working? And then I looked. I missed a damn semicolon. One semicolon made my whole program and computer crash. So something something small in programming can like mess up your entire program. Because all it takes is one mistake. So make sure you're attentive when you code. Make sure um, you're solving the problem as you go. But at the same time, you want a plan heading into any programming task because you're gonna run into problems, so you can't. The, your plan won't be foolproof. You, like the problems will be there, but as long as you have a direction and you know what the task is, you will be successful. So whether you watch the video the whole way out or you watch bits and parts of it where I break down each of my years in computer science, I hope you picked up a lot of things to learn. And for those who were on the fence of going to see us or not, I hope this video helped you make your decision. And I hope everyone who watches video now knows more about computer science and what it takes to become a successful developer. Through my experience, I hope I was able to share some valuable knowledge. Please subscribe, please comment down below, please like.